So I don't get as low as I used to, but I still get down fairly low. If I'm in the lion pose and I'm going to move, it, traditionally you would just go through the movement, okay? But when I'm teaching, I introduce other uh, ways of inviting the practitioner to become attentive and aware of what the form offers. Why? Because again, I'm training actors. What is it that actors need to learn? To be the, the legs under the table. And so it's a process of inquiry. Uh, for me, the reason I use martial arts is because they are working on these really fundamental underlying principles that inform any actor's work. Also, I'm not teaching Suzuki technique, where you're going to use Suzuki technique in all your performances. No, I'm training actors so that they can be versatile and so that what they're learning can be transformed and used with, in a variety of drama, dr dramatic contexts. The work that I make, unlike, and this is not a criticism of Suzuki, but the work I create or direct is really varied. It's not, I'm not working with one set of techniques. Uh, Suzuki training, when you, when you see Suzuki training, is fantastic training. Uh, it's a wonderful training, but are you, how are you going to use it? Or how are you going to use what you're learning by going through Suzuki training? becomes the question. Um, so let me just explain again now a couple of the entailments, how I talk, invite people to experience something in this form. So I will start to elaborate uh, a certain kind of awareness. So, and this takes time. I mean, it's not like something I do the, you know, absolutely the first day. But for example, when I'm in this position, when someone's in the line, I might invite someone to be aware of your right, the sole of your right foot. The sole of the left foot. When I slide the foot, I'm aware of the foot as it slides on the floor. In other words, I'm inviting people to begin to become aware how the form opens their awareness. It's opening it toward what the form invites. It's what you see, if you're watching a really good coloring pipe practitioner, the way that they're engaging their attention and awareness is a whole bodied engagement. Meiyu kanakiga. When the body is or becomes all lies in Malayalam, this, how does that happen? It's a question. You know, you aren't given the answer to that when you walk into a coloring. You have to discover what it is. That's the important thing. That's why you go through a training so that you can discover something that is your way of understanding